Major developments in the high-profile murder case of convicted killer Daniel Marsh. This afternoon, a Yolo County judge has decided to uphold the 21-year-old's life prison sentence for the 2013 murders of an elderly Davis couple. CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is live for us at the Yolo County Courthouse with the latest. Lamore. Tony and Christina, this afternoon, there is relief in this town of Davis, in this entire community. This was a case that brought back terrifying memories for the victims' families. But this afternoon, the judge in the case ruling the toll of Daniel Marsh's crimes is, quote, incalculable. 21-year-old Daniel Marsh, however, showed little emotion at his hearing today, looking directly at the judge the entire time. He was sentenced five years ago to 52 years to life in prison, but the 2016 voter-approved Proposition 57 opened the case back up, requiring a juvenile court judge to review whether Marsh, then 15 at the time of his brutal murders, was eligible to be released from prison at the age of 25. March took to the stand last week as part of that review process, testifying that he is a different person than the teenager who admitted to torturing and killing an elderly Davis couple. The judge didn't think so and went on to recount the horror a 15 year old March busted into the Davis home of a husband and wife as the couple slept using a hunting knife to torture 87 year old Oliver Northup and 76 year old Claudia Maupin before eventually hacking apart their bodies. The victim's families begged the judge to keep Marsh locked up for life. They wept as the verdict was read. This was really hard, but we're, we're relieved and, and we're about our family getting healing now and putting this to rest completely and the community of Davis getting some healing and uh, not living in fear, you know, just system, right? So living in peace, right? I So much emotion, but there was no one there from Daniel Marsh's family. What is next in the case? The judge will get to hear an appeal within the next 20 days. We did also talk to the DA in the case. She, of course, is exhilarated. But there is one thing that may set this case all the way back, back to this courtroom behind me next year. We're going to tell you a lot more about the new law that may reopen this case yet again. That at 5 o'clock. Back to you for now, Tony and Christina. Okay, Lamar, we'll see you at 5 with that angle. Thank you.